Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my 65 gallon fish tank. Um, I'm making this video just to update. Um, I haven't made one in a while, and the reason so is because I moved to a new place. So I had to take down this guy. It was kind of disappointing because I had my rocks a certain way, which I loved how it looked, which you can see in my previous videos. And uh, <clears throat> as you know, um, you can never get it the same way again once you take it down. I even took photos and everything, but it was not good enough. Uh, but anyways, uh, I bought this yellow tang. Uh, he got ick. Uh, I'm still curing him as we speak. Uh, I've been dosing ick attack as well as I've been giving him uh, extreme calcium I mean not calcium uh, garlic sorry about that I've been uh, dosing uh, garlic into uh, seaweed I've been feeding him some brine shrimp um, as well as my sh uh, sand shifting dragon goby um, which he's on that big uh, under that big pukani rock uh, all the way to the right by where the tang is um, but yeah, I moved to this uh, new apartment, so I had to take it all down, put it back up. It was a drag, um, but it's finally back up. Um, I also decided to go with uh, Coral Pro uh, Red Sea uh, Salt, and I have I noticed uh, some good growth on my soanthids. Uh, let me get closer so you guys can see. I got this by by the local fish store marine warehouse here in Tampa, Florida um, for about five bucks right there. That was on special. As well as this one I got for 50 cents. I had about four polyps and now I believe it has about either 13 or 14 polyps now. It's growing pretty fast and I've had it for probably three months now this one too now I can't I have a very bad memory when it comes to remembering the corals names um, all I know is these are soanthids that's all I, I, I try to remember um, I know these are eagle eyes uh, soanthids and um, they're pretty good colorful not bad you know these right here I love I love the the blue light Let's see if uh, my phone is kind of bad at recording blue light it actually becomes purple on the light um, but <clears throat> as you can see the green as well as the eagle eyes turn the light back on guys but yeah this is my uh, my tank doing pretty good so far uh, no nitrates no ammonia uh, I have a little bit of phosphate that's why you can see all these uh, green algae on the on the rock but it's not hair algae I don't even know what you call this algae I'm still new to the hobby so um, but I'm getting a lot of growth on uh, coralline algae as you can see is nice and purple uh, it's spreading pretty fast within three months so that's a good sign I'm definitely doing something right um, and what I love about my setup is that my living room is so big and it's going to be the division between uh, the living room and the dining room so, you know, I have access to the back of the fish tank, the sides of the fish tank, and the front, which is great. Um, I don't know whether to cover this so that people don't see it when it gets all dirty, but I'm not lazy, so I think I'm going to just leave it like that as is and clean it every once in a while. 
take out the pipes manually and um, keep it clean like I should. Alright well guys, thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave any comments. I do read them. I take the time. Um, and if you like the videos I do, please subscribe, like, all those good stuff. Um, and um, if you have any questions, I can make your video and try to answer it. Just keep in mind, I am still pretty new at this as well. Um, but I do have lots of friends who are definitely a lot, you know, have more knowledge than I do. Um, and I can always ask them to help me out so that I can help you out. So, um, like I said, thanks for watching. Have yourself a good day.